Welcome to livingpianos.com. I'm Robert Estrin. Today we're going to talk about what are the requirements to become a piano teacher. I got this from a viewer, this question, and I thought this is a really pertinent question because obviously a lot of people out there who watch Living Pianos videos are thinking about teaching and many of you are teachers. It's an interesting thing because the internet is global. I talk to people all over the world. In fact, I have students in Australia and Alaska. I just got a student in Pakistan. I've got people in the United Kingdom, as well as all over the United States. And interestingly, in other countries, the requirements are quite different from what they are here in the United States. Here in the United States, there are actually three different types of teachers, of music teachers. There are people who teach in the public schools, there are university and college teachers, and there are private teachers. Each of these have different requirements. To be a public school teacher of any sort, and piano isn't typically taught in public school, but to be a music teacher of any kind in public schools, whether it's uh, you know K through six or uh, middle school or high school, take certification, a degree or two, and uh, you know an education degree, and that's really all that's required. In the university and college level all too often they are looking for people with at least master's degrees and it's so competitive that having a doctorate is really puts you in a more level playing field because unless you have something to set yourself apart uh, in your resume it's very difficult because there are very very few positions for the number of qualified applicants coming out of music conservatories and music programs of universities. That leaves private piano teachers and private music teachers of all ilks. And indeed, there are absolutely no formal requirements. Anybody can put up their proverbial virtual shingle and be saying, I'm a piano teacher. And all too often, there are some people out there who do just that. The flip side of this is some of the most accomplished pianists who have multiple degrees are not necessarily good teachers. So what does it take to be a good teacher and what does it take to actually be able to teach successfully from a business standpoint? As a private teacher, uh, really you ought to be able to play the piano or at least have been able to play the piano on a high level at some point. It's really not necessary to be a concert pianist to be a great teacher. While some concert pianists are great teachers, there are many concert pianists who are not good teachers at all because many of them started very young and they were prodigies. They just could do it. They can't even remember having to learn the fundamentals on the instrument. And they were like advanced by their time. They were 8, 10, 12 years old. They were playing concertos. And to relate to somebody starting out can be extremely difficult. Now, this isn't to say that there are not people who were child prodigies that grew into great pianists and great teachers. I studied with Ruth Slanchinska, who was a, one of the great child prodigies of the 20th century and an absolutely spectacularly wonderful pianist and teacher. So it does happen. So there isn't one size fits all here. So one thing is you have to at least have been a, a, a formidable pianist at one point in your life in order to understand it enough to be able to teach. Of course, if you're teaching very young children and only going up to an intermediate level, you don't necessarily have to have been a, a very, very uh, accomplished pianist. You would just have to be a competent pianist who knows how, you know, how to read music well, how to figure out and teach rhythms and all of that. So how do you learn how to do all of that? Well, the best case scenario is to, first of all, have great training. If you've had great training, you might remember your training. You might even have old books. Um, you know, I have my father's, the original manuscript book that my father worked with me when I started lessons as a very young child. And boy, you know, such great training. I still rely upon the things I learned in my own studies and have taught them countless times over the years because I also had the benefit of having uh, assisted my father with his teaching, so he trained me in teaching, which brings us right to the second point. Having a teacher, a great teacher, guide you in your piano pedagogy, how to teach, and I've worked with many teachers, helping them to hone in their teaching skills, to know how to deal with students, and also to take their teaching to another level. Maybe they want to teach 
areas of music and they, they find a lot of students they don't feel comfortable teaching because of the repertoire, the style, the requirements. Maybe they need more, they have students who you know, want to study with them but they want more theory than they're comfortable with. And I'm happy to teach people how to teach. And finding a mentor can be invaluable in this. So reading up on various techniques, going to conventions, there are many ways of immersing yourself in teaching the piano. You also want to spend time reflecting upon how you practice and be able to break it down into the steps, into individual steps. That is the most important aspect of teaching. And that's what I learned from my father, not just with playing the piano and practicing the piano, but music theory, sight singing, all the disciplines, breaking it down methodically to all the steps. And if you can do that for people, it makes it extremely productive. So these are some insights for you. I hope this is helpful. Any of you who have more questions, I offer counseling for my Patreon members. So if you're thinking you want to teach and you want more advice, join my Patreon and I'm, I'm here for you. And of course, questions for future videos, I welcome them here on YouTube as well as Patreon. Again, I'm Robert Estrin. This is livingpianos.com, your online piano resource. Thanks for all you subscribers. We'll see you next time.